Aghang Amazing! This is Surbest of Surbest TV. In this two-part tutorial series video, we are going to study how can we locate places on Earth using a coordinated system. In the first video, we are going to review the different imaginary lines that can be found on a map and a globe. And on the second video, we are going to apply the concepts about imaginary lines in locating places on Earth using a coordinated system. Are you ready to learn? If you find this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like, share, and comment hashtag Aghamazing. Let's go! Have you ever wondered why different places on Earth have different climates and weather? Why other countries experience snow? And why our country, the Philippines, does not experience this phenomenon? This phenomenon has something to do with the position of a place or a country on Earth. But how can we find the position of a place on Earth? Different tools can be used in finding the position of a place. Can you please give examples? Correct! Some of these are compass, radar, GPS, maps, and globes. In this video, we are going to focus on maps and globes to find the position of a place. A map is a two-dimensional graphical representation of an area, land or sea, depicting physical features. It can represent the whole or a part of the Earth. On the other hand, a globe is a three-dimensional spherical model of the Earth. It represents the whole Earth. Observe the map and the globe. What do they share in common? You are right! Both the map and the globe are made of horizontal lines and vertical lines which intersects with each other. We cannot really see these lines on the surface of the Earth. Hence, they are called imaginary lines. These imaginary lines are very important in locating places on Earth. The horizontal imaginary lines that run from east to west of a map or a globe are called latitudes. Since the Earth is a sphere, the distance of any place in the globe is measured in degrees. The starting line of latitude measurement is the equator. Therefore, the equator is assigned a latitude value of 0 degree. The equator is read as 0 degree latitude. The equator divides the Earth into Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere. The Northern Hemisphere is an area located above the equator up to the North Pole. It extends above the equator to 90 degrees going up. On the other hand, the Southern Hemisphere is an area located below the equator down to the South Pole. It extends below the equator to 90 degrees going down. The notable latitudes are shown in the picture and they are given special names. The latitude of a place has something to do with its climate. The part of the world between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn is called tropics. Countries located in this zone experience a tropical climate where the annual average temperature is above 18 degrees Celsius. This is the reason why the Philippines is a tropical country. We experience warm temperatures. Between the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle is the Northern Temperate Zone. And between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle is the Southern Temperate Zone. Countries located in these zones experience four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and autumn. Areas within the Arctic Circle and the Antarctic Circle are called polar or frigid zones. Countries located in these zones experience cold temperature all year round. Based on this, we can say that the closer the latitude is to the equator, the warmer the temperature. And the closer it is to the poles, the colder the temperature. Aside from the horizontal imaginary lines, we also have vertical imaginary lines. 
These vertical imaginary lines that run from north to south of a map or a globe are called longitudes. They extend from pole to pole on a globe. To easily visualize the longitudes, let us use this map. The starting point for measuring longitude is the prime region which is located on zero degree. It is referred to as zero degree longitude. The prime region divides the Earth into another pair of hemispheres, the Western Hemisphere and the Eastern Hemisphere. The Western Hemisphere extends from the prime region to 180 degrees going to the left. Meanwhile, the Eastern Hemisphere extends from the prime region to 180 degrees going right. The latitude and longitude degrees represent exact places on Earth. When these latitudes and longitudes are combined, we can locate any place on a map or a globe. In this video, you learn that there are two imaginary lines that can be found on a map or a globe, the latitudes and the longitudes. The equator is located on the zero-degree latitude. It divides a map or a globe into northern and southern hemisphere. The primary region is located at zero-degree longitude. It divides a map or a globe into eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere. In our next video, we are going to apply these concepts to locate places on Earth. See you on our next science lesson. Agha-mazing!